Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my first episode in my series of archery videos. Not really sure what I'm going to call it. I mean, uh, it could be anything, but for now I'm just going to be going over the basics and kind of just an overview and introduction of what things are going on here. Um, I kind of got into archery just a little bit ago, and I probably, like, whenever I was a tiny kid, I'm sure I had, you know, a, a small bow and shot a little bit, I guess, in the backyard, but... For the most part, I never really got into it until just like a few weeks ago, and I'm not claiming to be good at this or anything. I mean, I can shoot, I can hit a target of a decently small size, I guess, and I can get things done. But I mean, it's not like I'm going to be going to the Olympics or anything. I just think it's fun, and I want to make some videos and show you guys what it's all about. Maybe get you into it, uh, recommend some things that you can start up with, and all that kind of different stuff. Just covering all the wide ranges of what's going to be going on here. <clears throat> First I'm going to cover, sorry I know the camera isn't the greatest thing in the world, it's just a flip, a uh, small little vlog basically camera, uh, and the microphone or the audio quality isn't exactly the best, but eventually I do want to invest in an actual uh, clip on mic and a better camera that I can be using, but for now this is what's going to be done, and I have a bunch of cool ideas where I can go with this series, and for now it's just going to be pretty basic, just showing you some archery stuff, and then later on I can actually get things done. And one more thing before I go into what I got here, the reason it's downstairs, and this is actually my basement, is because it's actually illegal in where the county, Camp Hill, where I live, uh, to shoot any firearms, BBs, airsoft guns, bows, anything like that, in Camp Hill. And I'm not sure if it's illegal in my own house, but uh, nobody's going to see me, and I'm just doing it anyway. So there's nowhere outside where I can do it and not get arrested or get in trouble and that kind of stuff. And my basement's relatively long, I've got a, a 10 meter line going on here, it's a 10 meter range, not too bad. And I just kind of shoot a bunch of hay bales, so let's get into this. First of all, let's go over the the big thing, you know, that's going on here, we got our bow. Um, not sure if you can get the whole thing, but I mean, I'm pretty sure this is, let's see, what do we got here? It's a, it's a 60 inch height, I'm not too in tune with all the actual terms here, but basically I think that what it means is whenever the string is off here, it's 60 inches long this way, and obviously when you put the string on it adds some extra stress, and it's not as long, but that's the height, and uh, from what I remember, I forget the, the brace height, I think that's what it's called, uh, the distance from here to here, but uh, it looks like uh, maybe like 8 inches around there, something like that. And it's a 30 pound draw, so it's not too much to be pulling back or anything like that. Not too bad. Um, it's kind of like a recurve longbow hybrid. As in a recurve, usually, if you can see here, um, it has a little bit of bend back, but the recurve usually bends back a lot more. Like the string actually touches a lot of the limb here because it bends back so much, it curves around it. But this one, there's like just one kind of focal point, but it's not an actual longbow. It's kind of like a hybrid, older, uh, probably 70s, it's a, it's a Wings Archery bow, I think they're out of business, it's called Nighthawk, pretty decent bow, not too bad, got it from my uncle, and then I'm shooting it Instinct, uh, no sights or anything like that, so I got just like uh, shooting a stock uh, going on, this here, no actual rest, no sights, and decent string, I forget what these cattails or whatever, they just kind of dampen the sounds, it's a lot louder usually, and that's really it, really simple. Simple wood, uh, nothing too modern about it or anything like that, but that's fine for me. So that's over that. Next we got our arrows. These are carbon arrows. I uh, just got up a set of these. Forget the length, don't know any models or anything like that. But actually these are pretty cool. Let's see, they're made by, uh, just, what is that, Gold Tip? I guess it's a company. But they're cool because they actually look like cedar arrows, even though they're not. They're made of carbon. And nothing too much to talk about, but... Uh, that's really what I got about here. I got five of them because the other one got uh, kind of messed up and I'm not using them anymore for various reasons. So there's that. And then two other things. Got our arm guard. Pretty simplistic going on here so I can just take this off. Whenever you actually shoot it, like here, let me... You hold it up, if you can see that. And then, if, depending on how you do it, the, the string might actually touch your arm. Which is a problem because whenever you pull back, it could hit that. And then you want something to protect that because it does leave a lot of bruises. I've had that happen to me a few times. They have various ones, but this is kind of like a minimalist kind of looking thing. Uh, it protects me well enough and it gets the job done. And lastly, just a nice glove here so it doesn't screw up your fingers and gives you a better release that you just kind of slip on. These are really all you need. You can also have a tab, which is just like a little piece of leather or something that you kind of just pull back with. But I like the glove more just because it's easier to use. You can use a quiver, but I just use my back pocket. It seems to work a little bit better. 
I'm not even better, but just cheaper. There's no real reason to have anything else because I'm just shooting in my basement. But for traditional archery like this, not really anything else you need. I mean, I'm not going to be going into compounds. Maybe if I get into this more, I might get a compound going to go into that because it, it does involve a little bit more stuff sometimes. But for now, I think I'll just be doing this. Um, that's kind of the overview of what we're going on here. I'm not really going to be going into any of the specifics or kind of what I'm doing. But let me quickly, I could just shoot. A quick five rounds here. Sorry if this isn't too professional or anything like that. I just kind of want to use it as something chill to do. And I may get into more cinematography in uh, the actual archery thing later on when I get better cameras. But I'll go into shooting more next episode, kind of going into what you do. Let me just shoot off six here to leave you off. And then that should be good. And catch the next episodes to see what actually comes by. Again, not the best archer, uh, but let's see what I can do at 10 meters. Alright, so let's get a quick five shots off here and see what we can do. Let's go down the range. Alright, so again, not the best shot in the world, but that was uh, first time shooting in actually a few days. Uh, not too bad. That's four arrows, as you can see there, from 10 meters. And the last one actually went in there, and you can't see it, but I think I remember it going in right around here. That area, so not too bad. A uh, few, like a, I don't know, six inch diameter circle kind of thing going on here but there you go so stay tuned next video for the actual shooting and going into detail hope you enjoyed guys see you later